Hey, welcome to the beach scene with Chaplain Rhonda Harkins and Daily Declarations. I am so glad you're part of this channel and it is Friday. It's almost sunset and from this evening, this Shabbat, through uh, the sunset of tomorrow, Saturday, we will be having the 27th of Elul, 5781, and that is for this evening the 3rd through September the 4th, 2021. I am excited because this is not only a special Shabbat, the last one actually, before the new new year, Rosh Hashanah, woohoo, 5782, which begins on uh, sunset of September the 6th, but it is also Labor Day weekend for those of you here in the United States, and I want you to know it's a four-day weekend for a lot of people, and I am looking forward to that very much, uh, spending some special time with family and cooking out and just doing special things resting good time to rest all right so let's do our declaration my king is in my field inspecting the fruit of my garden my fruit delights his soul it is fragrant with spices I cannot wait to share with him the fruit of my harvest. Isn't that great? Don't you love it when we think about him entering into our lives and inspecting our fruit and just enjoying the fruit of our lives? Because you know we give him all the glory for all that he has done to grow that fruit, to produce that fruit through the grace that he gives us every day, day in and day out. This is based on Song of Solomon, chapter 4. It starts in verse 12. And this is a wonderful description from the bridegroom king of the garden of his beloved, which is you and I. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse. A spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with pleasant fruits, fragrant henna with spikenard, spikenard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh, and alloys, with all the chief spices. A fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. And then the bride, she says, Awake, O north wind, and come, O south, blow upon my garden that its spices may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden and eat its pleasant fruits. Let's say that declaration one more time with love in our heart for our king. My king is in my field inspecting the fruit of my garden. My fruit delights his soul. It is fragrant with spices. I cannot wait to share with him the fruit of my harvest. It is harvest time right now, isn't it? I saw a picture uh, on a post recently in Facebook of a lady in the UK, a friend of mine, who just brought in a harvest of plums, beautiful plums. And uh, she had an abundance of from her garden of those plums. She was giving them away. She had so many. And I pray that we will be just as fruitful and be able to give generously to all uh, from our own garden 
not just physical fruit, but that spiritual fruit that means so much to our beloved. Shabbat Shalom, and I will see you tomorrow.